Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the Art Museum. There's a beautiful Japanese masterpiece now on display in Gallery 138 that gives us a peek into the luxurious lives of the upper-class samurai in 18th century Japan. The screen combines visual and literary arts in a gorgeous combination of color and gold. This is one of two folding screens, each with eight panels, titled Scenes from the Tale of Genji, created in early 18th century Japan using ink, color, and gold leaf. The subject is two scenes from the Tale of Genji, one of the world's earliest examples of romantic literature. It was written in the early 11th century by the noblewoman and lady-in-waiting Murasaki Shikibu. 700 years later, the novel remained popular to read and as a subject of artworks. The story centers around Hikaru Genji, the shining prince, who was the son of an emperor. The novel follows Genji's life as he excels at all the accomplishments of the perfect aristocrat of the time. It includes stories of his skills at all courtly arts, calligraphy, poetry, games, and painting, and of his complicated love life. The screen was probably commissioned by a wealthy samurai to decorate his castle or palace. He'd have dictated which scenes from the novel were to be included. Reading from right to left, as the Japanese do, the right side of the screen depicts scenes from chapter 1. At the far right, two women in multiple layers of colorful kimono are relaxing at a window. Look carefully above, and you'll see two cats scampering away from Genji's wife, who is peeking from the doorway. Two courtiers in pristine white robes are playing an ancient kickball game, Kamari. If one of them is Genji, he's winning. Here on the left side of the screen, an elaborate ox cart with three attendants has delivered guests to a summer party in an airy pavilion. This scene is from chapter 26. The shining prince, Hikaru Genji, is in blue in front of a gold screen with his son to his right in red. Genji, the perfect host, has served his fellow courtiers fish, sake, and ice water. There's no artist's seal or signature, but the painting style indicates a Kano school artist. For generations, artists from that workshop served the samurai. The cam folding screen is 39 inches tall by 12 feet wide, shorter than this screen from Colby Community College Museum of Art. But seeing the students sitting there, you get an idea of its size and how people viewed the screen. There were two reasons for the heavy use of gold leaf. First, to show off the wealth of the patron, and secondly, to reflect candlelight and lamplight. I imagine that it must have been quite impressive at night. While doing my research, I found this painting that illustrates the aesthetic taste of the samurai rulers during the Edo period, 1603 to 1868. The last Tokugawa shogun, Yoshinobu, who reigned from 1866 to 1867, presides in a large audience hall at Nijo Castle in Kyoto. The palace is still this spectacular. I've been there, and the lovingly preserved paintings and decorations are indeed this lavish. I hope you enjoyed learning about Cam's visual and literary treasure and a little bit about that perfect ancient aristocrat, Prince Genji. What status symbols do you see around you now? Artworks? Cars? Jewelry? Is fashion an art form? And status symbol? The Genji screen will be on display for just six months, so I encourage you to visit the Art Museum and stop by Gallery 138 to enjoy this masterpiece in person. Thanks for joining us on Cam Look today.